Howdy neighbor, how is your garden growing? My garden, it's been almost exactly a year since I put together this raised metal garden bed. So I thought it was a perfect time to give you an update on my thoughts on if you're thinking about getting a raised metal garden bed, should you get this one? So this is the Vajega 9-in-1 17-inch raised metal court raised metal bed aka a corrugated metal bed so let's get to the probably the most basic and simple question would i recommend this bed and the answer is yes <laughs> yes i would and i'll get into all the reasons why if you are interested in getting a corrugated metal bed then this is definitely a very good choice for you i guess i should be saying this is the best bed ever but when looking at raised metal garden beds there are some key things that we need to really think through before we purchase them. So it was about a year ago I did an unboxing video where I took you through kind of why I looked at and chose this brand. And then I also showed you kind of how I thought this was a really good brand from a putting together, how they packaged everything. And I will link that video at the end of this video. When it comes to raised garden beds, the three main options are of course, concrete, wood, and of course, metal beds. For me, when it came to the look, concrete was not the look for me. Plus, if you're gonna do it yourself, you have to have a lot more skill than I was planning to develop for this. So I was looking for something that was more readily assembled, which pretty much puts me in the wood or metal category. When it comes between metal and wood, you have a lot of trade-offs when it comes to expenses and their ability to endure the environment. And since I live in Florida, as may you, or you live in a similar climate that's subtropical, tropical, or coastal, here's some of the things you wanna think about. Down here in the subtropics and tropics, uh, termites are everywhere. So this means that anything that's gonna be of a wood product is just gonna break down a lot faster unless it's chemically treated or it's cedar. If it's chemically treated, well, then I really don't wanna grow in it. If it's cedar, it's very expensive. And when it comes to metal beds, they can oftentimes be pretty easy to assemble, but they're a little bit more pricey than cheaper wood beds, but they'll last longer. But then you have to worry about some other things like rust. And since I live in coastal areas, well, we have high humidity and a lot of salts in the air and water and salt make rust. So, and my concerns are not unfounded. These raised metal beds that were the original ones I bought have completely rusted out in about one year. Now raised metal beds can last a long time. And I know Vijega has said that theirs can last up to 20 years, if not longer. With my old beds, they're literally falling apart and I can crumble the metal with my hands. And that is not a good use of your money if you're gonna be crumbling your beds. Now my background is a mechanical engineer and I've worked most of my career in a food factory in Florida dealing with metal and rust. So I had some things I knew I needed to look for. So when I was in the market to go try a different brand bed, I was really, really interested in the materials, specifically the coatings on it. And so what got me interested in Vajega was this zinc aluminum magnesium double coating on their metal. So while the theory is good and the sales pamphlets are great, did it actually stand up in the first year? So when looking for potential rust spots, the areas that I focused on first were edges and of course, wherever we have a fastener, AKA nuts and bolts and screws. Cause this is the area where we've already cut into the metal. And if we didn't do a good job coating on the inside where this bolt goes through, that's where we would first start to see some rust. And we can see all the exposed bolts, there is no actual evidence of rust. And we don't just want to look at the external bolts. We also want to look at the bolts that are in the soil, which up until this point wasn't a really good time of year to look at it because we had plants in here. But now that the bed is kind of set to bed for the summer and getting ready for fall, this is a good time for us to go digging in and see what the nuts and bolts look like on the inside under the soil. The reason that's of special interest is because the soil pressing up against those bolts basically don't allow airflow and they're keeping moisture right there. So if there's any little imperfections where moisture can get in, that's the areas that we're most likely that we're gonna get rust that we can't see. So we got no signs of rust in here. And if at any time during this video you think, yeah, this is the right fit for me, then there'll be a link in the description. Plus you can use code Wild Floridian for 10% off any of the Vajega beds that you would like to buy. And actually this is, brings me to one of the points that I didn't make in the original video, but when you look at Vajega versus the Vigo brand, they honestly look very similar and they might actually be manufactured at the same place. And and they just have slight differences. And one of the differences though, that I think is a key difference is the amount of bolt holes that they have. Because when it comes to your bolt holes, like I said, that's one of the major places where rust is gonna get in. So the less you can have, the better. Also it's just, you know, goes faster when you go to put it together. And one of the things I liked about the Vajega design is that they actually eliminated two bolt holes per connection point. So where Vigo brand actually has six connection points here, Vajega only does four. Another area that I wanted to see some improvement on was this liner 
versus the other brand I had. The other one, the birds, the wind, I don't know, it would just fall off. And this one, it actually has stayed on amazingly well, not even a question. Burr, 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 burr. If I pulled hard, really hard, I could pull it off. Um, but it's not just gonna fall off, which is great because this is another area where we might get rust. And the reason this might actually be a place where you get rust is because it can potentially be a high impact point as you're carrying tools or just stuff around. If you drop it, you have, can have like what is a very sharp, acute force trauma to the metal, which could break through the coating more easily and therefore allow for rust to get in. So the fact that we have a really good protection at a place where we could get acute impact or AKA like a very sharp impact, that's a really nice feature. And the fact that it stays on is great. The other reason that it's nice to have a liner is because oftentimes in metal manufacturing, you can have sharp edges. Though this brand, when we unpacked it, did not have any sharp edges other than the very tippy tippy corners. So overall, the manufacturing from a safety perspective and for a life of the bed perspective has been overall really good. And all the evidence that I see on the bed continues to support the fact that we've got a good coating that's keeping rust out. And we have a liner that's protecting us from having an intrusion point for rust in the future. And combine that with the fact that we have less points for where we've added fasteners, AKA nuts and bolts, we are in a really good spot for this bed to last the 20 years that they've committed. I just say like overall, I'm just like really happy it's not rusting out because I am so disappointed with the other beds and I'm very frustrated. But now I have a lot more confidence that if when I replace those beds that you know, we're gonna be in a really good spot. Now, one of the questions that you guys were asking me that honestly, because I had just put the bed together, I couldn't answer at the time was all about bulging. One of the things about this design versus these other raised beds back here is that they didn't come with cross bases for the 17 inch bed. And the whole point of cross braces is that as you fill it up with soil and mulch and all sorts of goodies, the pressure, the weight, the force of that soil pushing out can oftentimes cause the bed to bulge. And so people were concerned that the 17 inch didn't have cross braces. I didn't have concern, but also I didn't know it could be a problem, could not be a problem. And the long and short of it is, it's not a problem. And here we have a fully filled bed full of soil and mulch and all sorts of goodies inside there, probably some bugs too. And you can see the edges are completely and perfectly straight. You can see we have zero bulging on the long sides. There's no evidence that this structure has become compromised from the forces of the soil pushing outwards. So overall, I mean, from an aesthetic standpoint and a functional standpoint, this bed is structurally holding its sides very, very well. Now, if you get the taller beds, they do come with those cross braces to help ensure that you're not gonna get that bulging. And if you really, really wanted to, because you want to, you can buy cross braces separately from Vajega, so that is an option. Now, one of the next questions a lot of you had was, does it get hot? Because if you live in a hot place where easily rust and termites and all the stuff, right? You don't want your bed to get so hot that it's cooking your crops. Now I will tell you, it is very hot right now and I am sweaty right now, but this bed actually feels cool. Once the sun starts to hit it, it will heat up and it will actually start to feel hot, but not scalding hot, not like burn your hand hot, not I'm going to lose a layer of skin hot. So long story short, it gets a little bit hotter and it is warm slash slightly hot to the touch, but it's not something that I would be concerned from a danger standpoint, but it would from a root system, they will be a little bit warmer than if it was in ground. So those are some of the reasons that I picked this brand. And then here was some of the feedback from you guys versus some of the other brands. When we went over the Vajega bed, originally those of you guys who had Vigo said, hey, it looks really similar. And it sounds like from those who had both that it performs pretty comparable. So if you've been thinking about Vigo and you're interested based on what my discussion on rust points has come to, this would be very comparable to a Vigo brand but actually has less opportunity for rusting from my background. When it came to this versus birdies beds, those of you who had birdies beds talked about that you saw that the panels look really similar and overall seem to function very similar to Vigo and Vajega. But one of the things that you guys thought was better in this brand versus birdies was actually the liner part. A lot of you who had the birdies brand said that those liners came off pretty easily and that this looked like an improvement to birdies beds. And when it comes to some of the brands that we see on Amazon, like Best Choice Products, which is the brand that I have over there, or I think there's a new brand called Savannah, which looks very similar to Best Choice Products. We, of course, down here in the subtropics and tropics really need to worry about the materials that they're using because they're probably gonna rust and fall apart. 
Now we talked about the coating from a protective standpoint, but one of the big selling points for me about the coating, besides the fact that it protected the metal and seemed like it was gonna be able to help prevent rust, is the type of coating they did, which was a zinc aluminum magnesium coating. But one of the great things about a zinc aluminum magnesium coating is not only that it's gonna give the bed a long life, but really it brings up the second factor, which is why you may wanna consider doing these type of beds versus others, is that this is an FDA approved coating. So they have looked at the fact that the zinc aluminum magnesium isn't going to leach into your soil, it's not gonna spread into your food crops, and it's proof for agricultural use, both for livestock, like if you had a trough and you're giving water out of it, and for growing crops inside of containers that are coated with it. Some other things you may wanna consider as you're looking at metal beds is a lot of the brands, like the ones I got over there, you basically buy a rectangle. You can get a rectangle, you can get a rectangle maybe in the color you want, Maybe you can't get in the color you want, the height. But that's one of the things I did like about Vajega and I continue to like about Vajega is that you have multiple options in colors and sizes and shapes. So you really have a way to pick and be creative with the space that you have. A lot of options with this brand in order to be able to design a garden that you love. Oh yeah, and shipping is free. So that makes it even better because when you're spending a lot of money on raised beds, you know, paying extra shipping costs is not like something you want to be like, yay, let's do that too. And a thing that they actually changed, which I really like because I've debated as I continue to think about my backyard garden, do I want to have these in my yard? Is they've actually added easy to assemble trellises. Now me, I have built the huge cattle panel trellises, which is a little Little challenging for someone like me who lives in an urban environment to get access to these large cattle panels and being able to order them and have them sent to my house is just not an option. So I was really excited because I know a lot of you in the community have wanted to do some trellises but like the options were limited for doing something significant. So Vajega actually has an option now that you can either do a arch trellis or a flat panel trellis and order it just like you can these beds and get it shipped right to your house. So if you want to explore more the Vajega brand and see if this is the right fit for you, the link will be in the description. Plus make sure you use code Wild Floridian for 10% off. And as you consider, if you want to look at the original unboxing and putting it together, check out this video right here. Or if you've just gotten a raised bed and you were just checking to see if it was a good idea and need to know how to fill it very easily, go check out this video right here. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye.